lost on San Francisco Bay. It's not okay. That look upon your face. Stuck back in second place. You went and collapsed in such a disappointing way. Discussion. This is about the reverse Richie McCaw, Dean Barker. <laughs> um, who had one job and fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd say it's more than just him involved in the story, but okay, in 2013. Team New Zealand skipper Dean Barker did say losing the America's Cup final was hard to fathom, hard to swallow, and said he was gutted and not being able to bring the trophy back to New Zealand after Oracle came from 8-1 down to win 9-8. Do you remember that final series? Mm. Waking up every morning thinking, this is the day, it's going to happen, and being disappointed day after day after day. Now we know how Prince Charles feels. <laughs> She did. <laughs> She's a lot faster than she looks. <laughs> and I mean, it's not just him that, uh, that stuffed up. Um, well, well also, whole... Jimmy Spittle won it, but anyway, carry yeah, on. No, Jimmy Spittle won it because they lengthened their foils, mm. right? And lengthening their foils is something I wish Black Power would do, you know, because they're... <laughs> <laughs> they're quite stingy with their weed, eh? <laughs> well, you, you bring it up with them then. You yeah, bring it up with them, mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I don't buy weed off Black Power, by the way. <laughs> Better living, everybody. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know why everyone was so surprised that um, we lost, because it was in San Francisco. It's the home of coming from behind. <laughs> So, I mean, it must have been a, a pretty bad day for Dean Barker. I mean, not only did he lose 9-8, but he didn't catch a single bloody car wire. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, what you want to do? You want to start off with squid or pilchard? Yeah. Uh, he's probably not even using burly. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Do you remember the commentator at the time? Do you remember Martin Tasker back then? Oh, yeah. He was the worst commentator, because instead of, like, you know, sort of pumping things up and looking for the best, whenever anything went wrong with New Zealand, he'd be like... Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, he was the anti-Pete Pete was, Montgomery, wasn't he? Pete Montgomery was great because a lot doesn't happen for a long time in yachting. It's the cricket of the sea. And <laughs> Pete Montgomery was basically like, and there's the water there, still as wet as we expected. It's the wettest water we could get. It's the ideal kind of water for boats and fish and things that are marine-based. They are the sort of water we'll be looking at. Want more videos? Don't answer. Just subscribe to the 7 Days YouTube channel.